Reek walks through the partially repaired Winterfell and is clearly shaken when he sees freshly flayed corpses being hung on the castle walls, which reminds him of the burned corpses of Jack and Billy. Later, while Ramsay and Roos Bolton discuss their delicate position as the new wardens of the North, Reek serves them their food. When his childhood friend, Sansa Stark, arrives in Winterfell, Reek watches her arrival from a distance. Later, as Sansa explores the courtyard, Reek avoids her but appears to be struggling not to call out to her. Later, while sleeping in the kennels, Reek is accosted by Sansa, who had been led there by Miranda. Reek shakes his head at her and tells her she shouldn't be there. Ramsay later confronts Reek about how Sansa approached him and chastises him for keeping it a secret from him. Though he seems like he will punish Reek, he ultimately forgives him. As the Boltons eat, Ramsay first coerces Reek into apologizing to Sansa for allegedly murdering Bran and Rickon. He then suggests that Reek should walk Sansa down the altar at their coming wedding with the rest of her family allegedly dead, which visibly angers Sansa and discomforts Reek. On the night of the wedding, Reek, once again assuming his previous identity as Theon Greyjoy, arrives to escort Sansa to Ramsay, though Sansa, still angry with him, refuses to allow Theon to hold her arm, even when Theon claims Ramsay will punish him. Theon walks Sansa through the godswood to the heart tree and gives the bride away. After the wedding, Theon leads Sansa and Ramsay to their new chambers, but Ramsay orders Theon to remain with them to watch what is to come. Having personally been on the receiving end of Ramsay's brutality, Theon tries to look away, but Ramsay repeats the order, and Theon is forced to watch, which he does. Theon is visibly horrified as he watches Ramsay rape his childhood friend, making her cry, and silently cries himself. Though Theon is still too weak to intervene, a brief flash of anger spreads across his face. A few days later, Reek brings Sansa her breakfast, closing the window when he notices her shivering in bed. When Sansa realizes Reek is there, she tries to talk to him and get him to help her. Reek continues to deny that he is Theon, until Sansa accuses him of betraying her family, and reminds him that he is Theon Greyjoy, son and heir of Balan Greyjoy, Lord of the Iron Islands, and that he can redeem himself by lighting a candle in the broken tower in order to signal Brienne of Tarth and Podrick Payne to come and rescue her. Though Reek takes the candle, he reluctantly informs Ramsay of Sansa's plan in order to spare her further pain should it fail, but it is implied during his conversation with Sansa that his original personality of Theon Greyjoy is slowly beginning to resurface. When Reek next brings Sansa breakfast, she confronts him about why he revealed her plan to Ramsay, and he responds that it was to protect her since he has found out there is no escape from Ramsay. As Theon Greyjoy, he tried numerous times, but Ramsay always found him and took away pieces of him until there was nothing left of Theon anymore. Only Reek. Sansa coldly expresses approval, adding that if she could do what Ramsay did to him all over again, she would. Reek shamefully owes to her that he deserved it as he did terrible things, specifically killing, those boys. Enraged by his reference seemingly to her brothers as, those boys, Rather than Bran and Rickon, Sansa vehemently demands to know why they should be dead while he still breathes the air, forcing Reek to finally admit that they were not Bran and Rickon, but two farm boys. In light of this admission, Sansa's anger towards Reek cools, but when she presses him as to where they might have gone, calling him Theon again, he breaks down and runs out the room, crying, not Theon. Reek! When Sansa finally succeeds in breaking out of her room and lighting the candle in the tower, she is confronted by Reek and Miranda on the catwalks, with Miranda pointing a bow at her. Reek begs Sansa not to resist, but Sansa welcomes her fate. However, when Miranda claims that she will spare Sansa and merely maim her, Reek remembers the role Miranda played in his castration. Unwilling to let Sansa suffer the same fate, Reek grabs Miranda and pushes her off the catwalk to her death. Now Theon Greyjoy once again, he takes Sansa and they run when the Bolton cavalry arrives after defeating Stannis Baratheon at the Battle of Winterfell. With no other choice, and aware of what will come when Ramsay finds Miranda's body, Theon and Sansa jump from the parapet to the snow below.